In FIFA 17, the Accepting Every Transfer Offer series was one of the most popular series on the channel. And ever since FIFA 18 was released, I have been inundated with comments, tweets, Instagram DMs, and even letters in bottles asking me to bring this series back. So due to popular demand, today we bring it back. We begin with Bayern Munich. It is no secret that they have domination over the Bundesliga. Yes, they have faced stiff competition from clubs like Borussia Dortmund and Red Bull Leipzig in recent years, but they are still at the top of their game. This makes them the perfect candidate for the series. It's time to knock Munich down a peg in today's video. G'day guys, how's it going? It is Jared HD here. It is my pleasure to welcome you back to the Accepting Every Transfer Offer series for FIFA 18. Lol, I think that's the perfect manager name. If you guys are pumped to see this series back, make sure that you leave a like on the video and also make sure you bloody scorpion kick that subscribe button down below if you are new around here. We are posting career mode content on the regular. So here are the official rules for the accepting every transfer offer series. Rule number one, plain and simple, we must accept every transfer offer. Loans do not fall under this just transfers. Number two, we are forbidden from signing any players in the opening transfer windows of every season. Number three, obviously we can only sign players in the January transfer window. And number four, the ultimate goal is to win the league in season number two. That's it, let's get back into the video. So this is the starting 11 we begin with. But obviously, it's not going to end this way. But the first thing we're going to start off with is recalling our players that are on loan. So, Renato Sanchez comes back. Douglas Costa comes back. Nabry comes back. And that's all the players we had out on loan. So, let's see what transfer offers come in now. Straight away, three transfer offers in here. Two for, for Joshua Kimmich, either Man United or Real Madrid. I'm just gonna say Real Madrid because they are the top one. And then Man City, Alaba, 52 million. Oh, I can say except for Man United as well. So it's between the two of them to battle for his signature. So Alaba has been sold to Manchester City and Joshua Kimmich is off to Real Madrid for 29 million pounds. Another huge transfer offer. Business is being done early here. Barcelona come in for Thomas Muller, 53 million pounds. That is huge. Real Madrid just slowed down with our players. They come in again, Douglas Costa this time. That is a terrible transfer offer, but we have to accept it. Also, you might notice that I rejected that one. I only accept transfers, not loans. Screw loans. So as soon as I say that I didn't want to send Bernat out on loan, we get a transfer offer from Chelsea for him. 13.7 million, we'll accept that. And there it is, Thomas Muller off to Barcelona. We're losing players real quickly. Just quickly, fellas, before we go any further in today's challenge video, I would like to say a massive thank you to OneFootball for once again sponsoring the channel. OneFootball is your one-stop shop for all things football news, football scorelines, football transfers, rumors, everything to do with football. And since today's video is surrounded around the concept of transfers, I just thought I'd let you know that OneFootball is the place to be, the place to look for everything transfer news. The January transfer window is just over a month away and I'm personally pretty damn excited for it. And I know for a fact that I will be waking up every morning and checking the One Football app to see what transfer business it has gone on and what rumors are out there. I can guarantee you that there are gonna be numerous rumors coming out over the next month and a half, and One Football will keep you up to date with every single one of them. So definitely click the link in the description or head over to the iOS or Android app stores and download the One Football app today. The app is free to download on both devices, so you've got nothing to lose. Once again, a big thank you to One Football for sponsoring and supporting the channel. Let's get back into the video. Okay, this is big. 
Are you and Robin, Barcelona, very interested to see whether he accepts personal terms? That's a terrible offer. 24 million for a player that's valued at 31 million. He's a former Real Madrid man as well, but we have to accept that one. Two more player transfers as Bernat is sold to Chelsea and Costa is sold to Real Madrid. Our squad's falling apart. And there it is. Ian Robin is most likely looking like he's going to finish his career at Barcelona. What a weird transfer offer. Frank Ribéry, Spartak Moscow. 17 million pounds. They've offered his value, but I could not imagine Ribéry playing in Russia. Time will tell to see if that goes through. Well, there it is. Ribéry off to Spartak Moscow. This is a twist I did not expect to see coming. Also, that says Renato Santos, R not Renato Sanchez. I got a little bit worried when I saw that headline. No, not Thiago. He's a freaking weapon. Chelsea come in for him, a massive offer. They haven't paid his release clause. I wish they paid his release clause. If they paid 106 million for him, I would have been stoked, but 85 million is still a lot. And there it is on transfer deadline day, Thiago is off the Stamford Bridge for 85 and a half million pounds. Oh no, transfer deadline day, three hours to go and we might just have received the biggest offer in the video so far. Arsene Wenger wants Manuel Neuer for 70 million pounds. Oh, I hope, I, if, if any of the transfer offers fell through, I hope it is this one. So there's one hour to go and it hasn't gone through yet. I really hope it doesn't go through, but we've lost a lot of players in this transfer window. Kimmich, Alaba, Muller, Bernat, Costa, uh, Thiago, Ribery. I'm probably forgetting others. Robin, a lot of players have gone. We've made 295 million pounds. It is going to be interesting to see what we do in January. We're going to skip through here. Yes! Look at the top left-hand corner. Manuel Neuer's transfer talks went down, broken down. That is so good. Whew, I've just spoken that into existence, but I'll see you guys now at January and see what we can do. I mean, not that we're too focused on results this season because we're more focused on the final season's results, but considering the amount of players we lost, we're killing it. We are currently undefeated and on 44 points in the Bundesliga. So, without our big name players, we're still holding our own, but let's see what business we can do now. Oh, fellas, what a time to be alive. We are gonna sign Cristiano Ronaldo. This is not realistic at all, but I just thought it'd be quite funny to have Cristiano Ronaldo here. So he is gonna be signing his contract. I believe we got him for 123 million pounds. Didn't mean to do that. I'll show you guys. Look at that. Ronaldo in a Bayern Munich jersey. Yeah, there it is. There's confirmation. CR10 joining the club for 123 million pounds. And you might have seen it in the transfer hub earlier, but we have signed ourselves a brand new left back, Jordi Alba, joining the club for 38.6 million pounds. We're gonna sign ourselves another massive player. Yannick Carrasco comes into the club now. He's designated as a left midfielder, but we're gonna be playing him on the right midfield spot. He signs from Atletico Madrid for 66 million pounds. It has been signings galore in this January transfer window. Not a single transfer offer yet, but we get our fourth signing as we pick up a new right back Thomas Meunier, the Belgian right back, comes in from PSG for 29.2 million pounds. In terms of transfer offers, compared to the first window, it is night and day. Not a single transfer offer, only loan offers. Four players in, however, Ronaldo, Alba, Carrasco and Meunier in. Our starting 11 looks real strong. Let's simulate now to the end of the season and see how we go ahead of our second and crucial season. Okay, so here we are at the end of the season and I said in the intro that I wanted to take Bayern Munich down a peg. We went undefeated. An invincible 
season. So, yeah, that's a little bit weird to see. Hopefully next season we sell more players and make it a bit more challenging. I thought it was going to be challenging regardless. We had no player, like a lot of our big players left and we were really short on numbers, but we still dominate, obviously dominate the Bundesliga and win it. However, the same cannot be said about the DFB Pokal. We didn't even make the last 16, which is odd. We did win the Super Cup at the start of the season and we lost the Champions League final to Borussia Dortmund. Hey, fair's fair. I can't say how many times Borussia Dortmund have lost to Bayern Munich in the big cup finals and I know they lost them in the Champions League final a few years back but it would have been nice to win that tournament. So season one of this challenge video, experiment video definitely ended a lot different to what I expected. Can we back it up in season two? What twists and turns will we experience? Let's find that out right now. So we get our first transfer offer for season two. It's been a while since we got a transfer offer but it's for Javi Martinez. Manchester United want him 42.9 million, not the worst offer, will accept it. I mean, it's not like we have a choice. Another offer here for Tolisso, beast midfielder on this game. Southampton, they're getting an absolute bargain there. 39 million is almost insulting for him, but we're gonna accept it. So there it is, Martinez, the first player to leave us in the second season. So this is a transfer I am not excited about. Tolisso is off to Southampton. It looks like they've also signed one Quadrado, but as to, besides the point, Tolisso is off to Southampton for a bargain of 39 million. No! Come on, Man City. Guardiola wants Matt Hummels. Max Hummels. And it looks like he's going to get him for 57 million pounds. That one hurts. Hummels is one of my favorite players in world football. I mean, I've got a Germany jersey from the 2014 World Cup sitting in my cupboard with his name on the back. And there it is. Hummels going to Man City, joining Alaba there. That hurts to see. All right, this is starting to hurt. We've lost one of our top center backs in Mats Hummels. And it looks like we're about to lose another one. Boateng, Chelsea. Stop taking all our bloody players, Chelsea and Man City. Ah, oh, we have to accept that one. I know what we're going to be buying in January. Oh, come on. Another centre back. Nicholas Seal, who, if Boateng and... If Boateng and Hummels go, well, Hummels is gone, but if Boateng goes, he was going to be our number one centre back. Of course, we lost Martinez at the start of the season. Oh, we're going to have no centre-backs. Well, there it goes. We're starting to fall apart, fellas. Now things are going to get really interesting. <sighs> this is going to be interesting. As if we've been shafted that hard. I'm just happy. Right, There's still time for it to happen. We're on deadline day. But I'm happy that we haven't lost any of our new signings yet. Imagine if we get an offer for Ronaldo on deadline day. I think I might just break down. Seven hours to go and it's another transfer offer for someone that could potentially slot into the center back spots. But Sebastian Rudy is going to be headed, it looks like, to Selhurst Park. Crystal Palace offer 26 million. And there it is, another player out of the club. So I'm just happy we don't have any more heart attacks when it comes to Manuel Neuer, but this is the final transfer hour for this open for this opening window for season two. But again, about 250 million pounds worth of deals. Martinez, Tolisso, Kumuls, Boateng, Sewell, Rudy, who else? I think that's it, but. Oh, it's gonna be interesting. Our back line is looking. Look at that. Look how weak our side is looking at the moment. Sanchez can slot in there instead of Dorsch. We've got a 66 rated player. We've got three reserves left. Oh dear, we are in trouble. I can't wait to see where we're going. How is Hammer still there? Did he go on a two year loan? I thought he was only here for one year, but let's see what type of a situation we're in come January. Okay, here we are. 1st of January, things are a lot more difficult than they were last season. For, for a start, we've lost four games. We're trailing Munchen Gladbach by 11 points. Now, our objective for this video, for this challenge, is to win the league in the second season. And if we want to do that, it's going to probably end up coming down to the wire. So, let's 
think strategically. Let's pick up some big name signings and let's do it with Bayern Munich. I mean, I'm just hopeful that we don't get any big transfer offers. If we can get zero transfer offers in January, like in season one, I'll be happy. All right, so we're gonna make ourselves a first signing for this January window. Sergio Ramos coming in to the club here. As you can see, where has he gone? It has gone here. So he has joined the club for 41 million pounds. He looks good in a Bayern Munich jersey. So there's been a common trait in this video that we've had certain clubs just raiding our club. Well, we've done that with Real Madrid in a sense. We've signed two of their world-class center backs in Ramos and now Rafael Varane. Of course, we got Cristiano Ronaldo last year, but Varane signs for the club for 87 million pounds. I'm not sure if we are Real Madrid or Bayern Munich. We've just brought Tony Cruz back to Bayern Munich, signing him from Real Madrid for 142 million pounds. That was his release clause, and I just decided to pay it. So welcome back to Real Madrid or Bayern Munich, Bayern Munich, <laughs> Tony Cruz. So we finally, for the first time in this video, get a transfer offer in January. Marco Friedel, our young left back, Spurs want him for 1.1 million pounds. That's a pretty small transfer, but we'll accept it nonetheless. And there it is, probably the least important transfer in this video, but Michael Frieda, Marco Friedel has been sold to Tottenham. I'm sure Pochettino sees something in him. Remember when I said that I was hoping we wouldn't get a transfer offer for a player we just bought? Well, wouldn't you know it, Real Madrid won some revenge. They've stuck the knife in, and now they're twisting it ever so slightly. 62.8 million for Yannick Carrasco on deadline day. Looks like we're gonna have to go in for another big name right midfielder to replace him. So with three hours to go, Yannick Carrasco has been sold. We have three hours to replace Carrasco. Otherwise, uh, we are gonna be significantly weaker on that right hand side. Yes, we have Kingsley Coman, but with 138 million pounds, You'd like to think we can bring in someone significant. Hey, Real Madrid, I will end you. I will end you. We have gone and stolen another one of your players. They take one of our players. We take one of theirs. Gareth Bale is going to replace Yannick Carrasco here on deadline day for £69 million. Pounds. 88 rated. Get in there. One hour to go or two hours to go on deadline day. But we have bought well. We have sold well. And this season has been ridiculously entertaining. As you can see here, Friedel and Carrasco out. Ramos, Varane, Cruz and Bale, all Real Madrid players into the club. Let's get into the second half of the season now and see if we complete the challenge. Fellas, we've done it. We have killed it. We have made up so much ground in the second half of the season. In fact, I don't think we lost a game. If my memory serves me correctly, we had four losses at the halfway stage of the season. I think we had six draws or something like that. So we've won virtually all of our games in the second half of the season. And we've defeated Borussia Mönchengladbach by four points to win the Bundesliga in season two and subsequently win the challenge. Now let's have a look at how we went in the rest of the tournaments again. We have done absolutely dreadfully in the DFB Pokal. We didn't even make it to the last 16 for the second year running. We did win the Super Cup again though. And we won the Champions League final on penalties against Juventus. So we've gone from losing it last year against Borussia Dortmund to winning it this year against Juventus. That's extremely good. But fellas, that is where we are going to conclude today's video. The first video in the Accepting Every Transfer Offer Challenge series. Jesus, that was a mouthful. But the first video in this series for FIFA 18. Make sure you let me know if you want me to do more of these. What team you want me to do it with. Our starting 11, absolutely insane. Although, to be fair, it is like 
50% Real Madrid players. But if you guys did go on to enjoy today's video, make sure that you leave a like on the video. Make sure you score and kick that subscribe button down below if you are new around here. And make sure you check out my social media links, my Instagram and my Twitter. Both of those linked down below as per normal. But most importantly, fellas, I hope you have a fantastic day. It has been Jared HD here. I'm out. Peace.